I got this email the other day that said that I won a sewing machine. It said, hello, you have won a baby lock sewing machine. Me, me, I won a sewing machine. Of course, when I first saw that, I was all excited of how wonderful that would be for me to win a sewing machine. But then reality kicked in. I figured, well, probably it's just a scam. It's gonna say something like, if you buy a million dollars worth of our merchandise, we'll send you a miniature sewing machine that you can use on your Christmas tree. Or maybe I'll just get a virus for getting greedy and clicking that email. But I was curious, so I went ahead and clicked it. It said that I won. All I have to do is send them my name and address. I remembered that I signed up for the sweepstakes on Instagram. Hey Quilter is a new company and this is the first sweepstakes that they're sponsoring and there really isn't any other information about them except for this first sweepstakes. So it could be legitimate and they could just be new or a website that they just put up to scam me. I don't know. <laughs> then I went to look at the Baby Lock website and they do have a machine that looks like this that has this name. Basically, they're just collecting names and addresses of people who are interested in quilting and sewing and it sounded like a worthy exercise for me to win these prizes. I would be happy to win any of the prizes that they were offering. Usually there's one or two that you think, ah, I think somebody else should win that one, but this is the one I want. But for this sweepstakes, I wanted pretty much all of the things that were on the list. I researched the Instagram page for Hay Quilter and also their website. And it looks like they're a fairly new company. There's three women who are working on it. When you signed up for the sweepstakes, they would add your name to some mailing lists. And I like that I didn't have to tag anybody or subscribe myself to anything. They just did all the work for you. And if you're not happy with any of the companies, you can unsubscribe. It's a free machine, you know? <laughs> it's a free machine. So that sounded like a fair deal to me. So I had gone ahead and signed up in September. And then at the end of September, they did the drawing and it said that I won. And then I got an email from Baby Lock that asked me for more information. It asked me for information that nobody should ever tell anybody ever. And also to sign something that said that if anything goes wrong, I wouldn't sue them. What could go wrong? What could possibly go wrong? So I did some more research. I checked out the sewing machine. It does exist and it is it is a beautiful machine. I checked out that Hay Quilter company. I checked out the baby lock number, make sure that was the right phone number. I called them to make sure that a real person answered the phone. I should have asked her who actually won because um, it, it could be a scam and everybody won. I wasn't sure, but it was too late. I already talked to her and told her my name. And so I did decide whether I was going to sign this form and give up, give up all this information. In my defense, I do have a couple quilts that need to be quilted. I have the Shakespeare in the Park quilt. That's, I think it's a full size or a queen size quilt. Um, I have the Bonnie Hunter quilt that I made as uh, one of her sew alongs. An Olympics quilt, oh, this one here. I have this quilt that has been sitting around forever and I've been put, I kept it here in this room. I've been moving it around from place to place to make room because it's just been around for so long and I just need to finish quilting it. I, I'm hoping that if I just keep it here in my way that I'll get it quilted this year and get it finished. This quilt has waited long enough to be finished. So I went back and I did some more research. I checked again the company. I went to the website and checked out Hey Quilter. I went to the Baby Lock website and I checked out the specifications for the machine. I looked at the reviews. I went to see that all of the other sponsors trusted them, so I think it is legitimate. I also researched the parent company of Baby Lock, checked their website out, made sure that that looked legitimate. I checked Wikipedia. I just looked up scams to see if that was a scam. And pretty much everything that I looked at, it looked like it was legitimate. But, you know, there was a chance that it might not be. Have you seen this machine? It's got a wider throat than normal. It's made just for quilters, just so we can make our quilts. It's perfect for quilting. So on behalf of Unfinished Quilts Everywhere, I had no choice but to sign it and send it in. 
then I got an email from FedEx that said they were going to ship me a box, which was a huge relief. It's like, okay, finally, it's all right, relax. But I wasn't done researching, so I, I researched the address that they were shipping it from, and my heart dropped again. It's a empty lot, just shrubs, big long space with nothing on it except for shrubs. Redfin had the same picture that said it's an empty space. Trulia said it's an empty space with nothing on it. Google Maps said it's nothing but an empty space with shrubs on it. They all use the same picture. It was very disheartening trying to think of what kind of scams that are possible to for this to happen, for them to send me something. Um, I resolved that if they sent me anything, if this was collect on delivery, that I would not pay th anything, not even a single dollar, even if they're just charging me for shipping. Do they even send collect on delivery anymore? I know back in the old days when I was gullible, maybe I'm still gullible, I don't know, when I was, am still gullible, I did receive something that was collect on delivery, so maybe they still do that, but I, I resolved that I would not pay a single penny if that was the case. And I also researched how to protect myself from identity theft now that I've given my information away, I'm trying to look up different kinds of scams that could happen. So it was, it was a weekend where I spent a lot of time just doing research of all the companies. I even checked the Instagram pages of all the other sponsors of this uh, prize. And all of them seem like they're trusting Hay Quilter. And Baby Lock is a big company. I've heard of them. I already know of them. So I think it's safe. Basically, as much as I could learn, I tried to learn the whole, throughout the whole weekend. I researched how to thread the machine. I researched how to wind the bobbin. I researched how to do some free motion quilting. I looked at some reviews for the machine. But with the empty lot, it's really scary. Um, it did go to the website of the parent company and of Baby Lock's parent company, Taconi, and I did see that uh, this building does exist. Could be a fake website with pictures of buildings, but, but that website could be false too, who knows. After I ran a couple of virus scans and locked down my credit report, it was finally delivery day. Oh, what's this? It says baby lock on it. I actually won a sewing machine. Can you believe it? Do you want to see it? Let me show you. a little bit more. There we go. Look at this. Look at this. Look at how much space there is in here. It's a Jazz 2 sewing machine. It's mechanical. It's, it's a nice solid machine. It's mechanical. It's, it's not computerized. And it does straight stitch and just a few basic stitches. I thought there was a space. There we go. Let me show you. It's a Jazz 2. You can see that it has a few basic stitches and there's a little bit of embroidery stitches but these this has pretty much everything that I would use. Um, my other machine does have more stitches but I don't use them very much anyway. There's a bobbin winder and the neat thing about this bobbin winder is that it uses regular bobbins so you don't have to buy any expensive gear to use this machine. It's got a, a knob here that you turn to choose your stitches. It's got a knee lift which I've never used before. I'll have to see how that works. There you go. It comes with some basic supplies. You've got the screwdriver, the needles, some extra feet. Pretty much everything that you need to get started. Here's another one. 
And then there's also another compartment in the back. You have to learn how to open these things. I think this, I was told that this is where the candy goes, but there's no candy in here. I look forward to using this machine for many more years, and hopefully there'll be some finished quilts coming up. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see these finished quilts. Thank you for watching. I appreciate all of your support, and I'll see you in the next video.